Hey students, so today we are going to learn a new concept of differential equation which is called as reducing the equations to linear form. So in the previous lectures we have seen what is the linear form or what is the linear differential equation and how do we represent it. So we generally say that dy upon dx plus py equal to q is the linear differential equation form. Now guys, what happens many times we get some different form in differential equation and we have to solve that differential equation. So what can we do is we can reduce that given differential equation into linear form. Now the question is how to do it or how to apply that method on a particular equation. So let's see that. So here we have a form f dash of y dy by dx plus p f of y equal to q so guys always remember whenever you see the differential equation in the form f dash of y dy by dx plus p f of y equal to q then that equation can be reduced to linear differential equation now the question is how so since we have f of y here to convert this equation into linear form, we generally put f of y equal to v. So here I'll say put f of y equal to v. So by putting f of y equal to v, if we differentiate both sides with respect to x, then we can get the linear form. So here differentiating both sides with respect to x, we will get f dash of y dy by dx is equal to dv by dx so guys here you can see that we got the substitution for this f dash of y dy by dx that is dv by dx so here i can say that this equation will become dv by dx as a first term so it is dv upon dx plus this p will remain as it is f of y now we have substituted it as v equal to q and now guys you must be remember that this is our form of linear differential equation so it means we have reduced the given equation into linear differential equation and then we can solve this linear differential equation by the method of le and we know the solution that the solution of such equations is given by the formula y into integrating factor so now guys in our case we have v v as a dependent variable so our formula will be like v here i'll write it down v into integrating factor equals to integration of q into integrating factor dx plus c now guys to find out the integrating factor we take help of this p so integrating factor is generally e raised to integration of p dx so this is the solution of this differential equation so when we'll solve this equation we will get our final answer in terms of v and x and for v we can again substitute the function of y and by that we can get the solution of this given differential equation by reducing it to linear differential equation so i'm sure that you understood this video and in the further videos we are going to solve the numericals based on this concept where we'll see how to actually apply this concept and how to get the value of the given differential equation so see you in the next video for that time if you want to learn more videos on engineering mathematics then do not forget to log into akira.com where you can get access to all videos at one place thank you very much